The glorious Quran also describes various stages of human development. As soon as fertilization has been accomplished by the sperm, the fertilized ovum goes into successive divisions forming smaller cells. On the third day, 12 to 16 such cells are formed in a mulberry-like fashion. The ball-like structure is called blastula. The blastula, which is only 0.1 millimeter in diameter, reaches the uterus in 4 to 5 days and lies free in the uterine secretion for a further 2 days before it clings and gets implanted in the uterine wall. This process of clinging, attachment and implantation is expressed in the Quran by one elegant word, alak. 14 centuries ago, long before any man has known anything about this amazing process. The glorious Quran in chapter 23, verses 12 to 14, clearly and very accurately describes the stages of man's embryonic development. وَلَكَدْ خَلَكْنَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ سُلَالَةٍ مِنْ تُوِينَ We created man from an extract of clay. ثُمَّ جَأَلْنَاهُ نُطْفَةً فِي قَرَارٍ مَقِيمٍ Then we made him as a drop in a place of settlement firmly fixed. ثُمَّ هَلَكْنَ نُطْفَةً أَلَكَ Then we made the drop into an alak. Literally, the Arabic word alak has three meanings. One leech, two suspended thing, and three blood clot. In comparing a leech to an embryo in the alak stage, we find similarity between the two. Also, the embryo at this stage obtains nourishment from the blood of the mother, similar to the leech, which feeds on the blood of others. The second meaning of the word alak is suspended thing. At this stage, the blastula clings at the uterine wall and lies in a suspended way. The third meaning of the word alak is blood clot. We see the external appearance of the embryo and its sacs during the alak stage is similar to that of a blood clot. This is due to the presence of a relatively large amount of blood present in the embryo during this stage. Also, during this stage, the blood in the embryo does not circulate until the end of the third week. Thus, the embryo at this stage is like a clot of blood. So, the three meanings of the word alak correspond accurately to the description of the embryo at the alak stage. The next stage mentioned in the above verse is the mulga stage. We made the clot into a chewed lump. The Arabic word mulga means chewed like substance. If one were to take a piece of gum and chew it in his or her mouth and then compare it with the embryo at this stage, he would conclude that the embryo at this stage acquired the appearance of a chewed like substance. This is because of the summits at the back of the embryo that somewhat resemble teeth marks in a chewed substance. The Quranic term mulga is even accurate than the term summit period of development which is used in the text of embryology. The mulga or chewed like lump with marks of intended teeth on its back takes in not only the summits but also the five pairs of pharyngeal arches which also appear at this period that is fourth week. The expression summit period does not include the five pairs of pharyngeal arches. The word mulga is therefore a more precise descriptive term for this stage. Professor Marshall Johnson who was the head of the department of anatomy and the director of Daniel Institute at the Thomas Jefferson University in the United States of America said that the appearance of the embryo with its curved structure and with visible protuberances and grooves resembling teeth marks gives the embryo its distinctive features.
feature of a chewed like structure. At this stage, the embryo is only one centimeter in length. If we were to make an incision in the embryo and dissect the internal organ, we could find that some of the cells have already formed while others are not yet completely formed. How then we describe this embryo? Professor Johnson asks. What do we say? Can we say it's completely formed? Then we are describing the parts which are already formed. If we say it's incomplete, then we are describing the parts which are not yet completely formed. The question would be, is it completely formed or not? There is no better description of that stage of embryogenesis than the Quranic description which says mulga, a chewed like substance. The next stage described in the glorious Quran is as follows. Then we made the little chewed llama flesh into bones. And covered it with flesh. The truth and preciseness of the Quranic verse is really breathtaking. The chewed lump mulga or somit embryo developed into the skeletal system which is covered by muscles.